Hej. Det är spaghetti, bra saker. Du får ta kvar detta. Sorry, I don't understand. The spaghetti is pretty good. Where did you get hold about this? Uh, who are you? I am me. Where am I? You are here. Now, where did you get hold of all this provisions? The cabin. Are there more? Yeah, yeah, much more. I just grabbed what I could carry. Are you looking for this? Nice. Not much good against walkers, though. Planning to shoot yourself if they got to you? Yeah, I went through your stuff. Could only find one bullet, the one that's in the chamber. So all I have left is the last one. Now here's another question for you. How did you find this place? I'm not sure. Well, I think you better focus. You know what this rifle means? What? It means that I want answers. Good answers. I'm trying to remember. I was... There was a locket. I was surrounded by walkers. I dropped it, it fell on the hatch. Did you have a map? Did someone send you? No, no, no. I was surrounded by walkers. I was on the run with my daughter. It was a locket. With your daughter? Yeah, Kathy. It was her locket that fell on the hatch. Stop talking about this stupid locket and tell me how you knew of this place. Who else knows? I know. I don't know who, who else. I was... I was surrounded by walkers and, uh, and uh, the locket, it fell on the hatch. Well, you better give me some straight answers or I will... Fell on the hatch. I heard a metallic sound. It was Kathy's, my daughter's. So where's Kathy now? You know Kathy, your daughter. She didn't make it. She's in the woods, not far from here. Now. There was a cabin. Do you found all this? Yeah. Was there any ammunition there? No, I didn't find any. What about provisions? Yes, yes. How much? Lots of provisions, lots. We were in the cabin for a couple of days until the walkers came, then we had to flee. I just took what I managed to carry with me. Then, where is it? It was in the cellar. There was lots of, uh, lots of uh, provisions in the cellar, you know, all sorts. The cabin, where is it? Oh, it's difficult to explain. Well, maybe you could try. It's a three days walk from here. So, you would know where to find it? Yeah, I think so. And you can draw a map? No, no, I don't know these parts. But you would know where to find it if you went back the same way? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Good. I'm glad you came, my friend. I'm Conrad. I'm Seamus. Don't worry about that, Shaka. It wasn't loaded. Just needed to be sure. 
<laughs> about what? About you telling me the truth. Now, let me help you to the couch, my friend. Looks like you've had a couple of rough days behind you. Oh, yes, it's pretty good. Uh, you have to wait until that leg gets better, though. Is it bad? Uh, it's not broken. It'll be all right in a few days. Mm, good. How long have you been down here? Oh, I don't know. A year, maybe. But it's safe from the walkers, though. But then again, you never know. A year? Have you been out of here? No. Nope. Don't like the walkers. But they sure as hell don't like me. What about food? Ah. Uh, millets used to be here. This was their haven. Millets? Mm hmm. A paramilitary group. They have all sorts of stuff here, loads of provisions. You're a soldier then? Oh, <laughs> no, man. Soldiers are all dead. Walkers. Yeah, that's right. Walkers. Anyway, we're glad you came. We are short of provisions. We need more supplies. We? How many people live down here? Oh, just me and my wife. Now you. Was there any medicines in the cabin, by the way? Yeah, there were. Just brought some basic stuff in my bag there. Hmm. Need medicines for my wife, you see. Come. Say hello to Mila, my sweet wife. She's been in a coma for a few weeks now. We need more of these. I only have supplies for a week or so. Did you see any of these in the cabin? Driving us bats? I think so. I'm sure, actually, yes. What happened to her? Oh. She collapsed. Why? How could I know? I'm not a doctor. Look at her. Hello, Mila. We have to get to the cabin. Come on, I have some stuff for you. More stuff? Great stuff. Come on. Supply we're short of. How come? Uh, Militz. They um, used to do research here, you know? Experiments with animals and humans. I don't know. Probably used liquor to preserve animals' body parts, don't you think? <laughs> anyway, we'll put it to better use. Skull. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Shh. Be quiet. They're here again. But we don't want them to know we're here, do we? they inside the building. No, 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 no. How come we can hear them down here, then? It's the ventilation system. Do something. You have to help her. We have to 
It's over now. Jävla idiot. Prövla för oss alla dräpt. We need to set up some rules here, Mr. Good Samaritan. We don't ever, ever go up to the surface. Well, unless it is to get more supplies, of course. But that is about survival and not suicide. You can sleep on a couch and you stay away from my wife, my wife's room. And you don't ever go into my room, which is over here, by the way, ever. Do you understand? Look at me. Do you understand? Yes. Good. You know, I think this is going to work out just fine. We'll talk more tomorrow. Good night, my friend. Good night. So, this is what we got left. That's what you brought. And no more ammunition. Well, this won't last for more than a week. Ten days at the most. Then there's a question. How much can we carry? Well, there was a gyrocopter at the cabin, but it didn't work. Could we fix it? Yeah, I think so. I used to be a mechanic. I was working on fixing it, but, you know, suddenly the walkers came and I couldn't finish the job. Anyway, it's almost out of gasoline. As you can see, that's not a problem. You just bring gasoline with you. As much as you can carry. Me? You mean we? Well, the thing is... I have to ask for a great favor of you, my friend. Come with me. No, no, don't come in. 
stay the doorway. Stand there, it's fine. You see my friend? It's a three days walk, right? Someone's got to take care of me, man. Within three or four days, without being cravenous, she could die. So, ain't that right, my love? Yes, you're right. I'll do it. You take care of me now. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. So how did this game work? Ah, oh, it's pretty much like billiard. You can take the other ones. I'll take the red ones. You know, if you could get that gyrocopter up and going, our problems would be solved. Just a few hours in the air and we could get more supplies. It would really help me with my search for the island as well. What? The island? Yeah. It's a place where the walkers can't get in. There are only people living there. That's where I was taking my daughter. You haven't heard of it? There's a functional society there. Mila could get some good care there too. There are doctors. You even heard there's a hospital. It's a paradise. Of course I've heard of it. That's where we should go. I hate to disappoint you, Baba, but it doesn't exist. What do you mean? Don't worry. It happens from time to time. We'll come back on again in a while. You know that island of yours? It doesn't exist. It's just a rumor. What do you mean? Have you ever met anyone who's been there? No. Exactly. No one has. It's just a story. It doesn't prove anything. It's just a story designed to give people hope. Just like religion. It's an illusion. Well, it wouldn't hurt to search for it, though. Once we get that gyrocopter up and running, who knows? Not with my gasoline. Listen, it's all about survival now. Stupid quests like that is exactly what would get us killed. Don't take any more chances than you have to. Like that <coughs> stupid stunt we did yesterday, trying to save that woman who was doomed anyway. That's exactly the kind of thing that would get us killed, see? where we are. Hmm? There's no knife. Down here we're like the walkers in a sense. No. I'm sorry if you lost your daughter, but I still got my wife. Eventually this plague will go away. You can return to the surface. You have to be patient, my friend.
what's going on here? I just pretend. You understand? No. And he kidnapped me. I'm not really in a coma. No. I just pretend. But, but why? I'm fooling him. See? Why? So he won't torture me. So he won't kill me. I just pretend. Okay? Okay. I know he wakes soon, so I need you need to call the button. No, please. They're gone now. So how did they get in? What do you mean? The walkers. How did they get to the soldiers? Oh, they had a walker down there to experiment with. Were you here when it happened? <laughs> but listen, we have to focus at the task at hand. We need that guard cutter up and running. There are some tools. You have to figure out what you need. Well, there were some tools in the cabin. Uh, yeah. Certainly a few of these will come in handy. You have to be absolutely certain you've got everything you need. And not more than I can carry. I have to carry the gasoline as well, remember? Exactly. This one. as well. This one. Yeah. 32, that one. Okay. So how do you know what happened to them? To who? Soldiers. Oh, I met one of them. 
The walkers didn't get to him, but he was dying. He showed me this place. You know, I was almost taken by walkers here myself. Got lucky, just like you. So what did he say, the soldier? He said he was from Estonia. And a sanitary soldier. Ironic, isn't it? Too bad he died. But what did he say about what happened here? Not much. The captured walker broke loose. Infected some of them. A panic broke out. But somehow they got the walker out of here. But then they got surrounded in the woods. I wonder... About what, my friend? The soldiers were taken by the walkers. Yeah. They can find us here. We're not safe. What do you mean? Well, the soldiers are, were infected by the walkers, right? Yeah. That means soldiers are walkers now. I guess so. And then they can find us. I don't think so. Why not? Listen. I've been down here for over a year. It's safe. They wandered off, long gone. Who knows? They might not even have the brains anymore to figure it out. I don't know, but we're pretty safe down here. Bad the sanitary soldier didn't survive. He could have helped Mila. Yes, I should have saved him. I tried. But what could you do? Like you said, you're not a doctor. And he was dying, right? Yes, he was dying. And then he died. What's in there? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Why not? That's where they did the experiments. So? A lot of crazy shit went on in there. You could get... Infected by something. Viruses, antiviruses. I don't know. Just stay away. It's not worth taking the risk. You know, Mila, she could drink us both under the table. Really? <laughs> yeah. Too bad she can't join us now, then. What? You mentioned Mila drinking us both under the table. Oh, yeah. When I met Mila at a bar in Prague, she worked as a bartender. She even won a bartender competition once. So that means she can drink us both under the table? No. <laughs> but she could, though. She used to arrange drinking competitions at her bar. Even winning drinking competitions against other men, even. Winning a few bucks. Reminds me of a movie I saw once. 
What movie? I can't remember. It was an old one. I saw it when I was young. <laughs> it was old even then. Were you married? Are you married? Yeah. No. She died. What happened? You know. Walkers. So you lost both your wife and your daughter to the walkers? No. Kathy was ill. I don't know what she died of. Fast drinker. I better catch up. How's your leg? That's better. Guess I'll be ready in a few days. Good.
He's sleeping. Okay. We have to be careful or he'll kill us. I know. He has killed before, you know. Many. I know. Right now he's sleeping. He's really drunk and now he's sleeping it off. Don't worry. Yeah. But, but you can kill him while he's asleep. Provisions left there. But I heard you say. I lied. I thought he was about to shoot me. There are some provisions left, but not many. We're going to the island. You heard of it? See, <laughs> si, claro. But it doesn't exist. I believe it does. Got this when I was. Uh, fleeing with my daughter through the city of Mykolaiva. Ukraine, right? Yeah. Took this from an old lady just after she'd been infected by a walker. Right, we're here. The island's here, way up north. So when we stop at the cabin, there's a gyrocopter there. You know what a gyrocopter is? It's just a small helicopter. So through they walk to the cabin, then we fly. Oh, I don't think I can do a week. I haven't used them for several weeks. They're too weak. Can you move your toes? Like this? Yeah. Good. Can you lift your feet up? Uh, <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, but I don't think I can outrun the walkers. Once you start using your legs, I'll get stronger. You think so? Yes. But what if the island doesn't exist? We'll die anyway, won't we? Maybe. Look, if we stay here, Conrad will kill us. Or if we kill Conrad, then we'll starve to death. So staying down here is a certain death. You're a survivor. You made it this far. You survived the walkers. You even survived this hellhole down here with Conrad. Yeah. You remind me of my daughter. You can do this. We both can do this. So the island is our, is our only hope then. Now look at it this way. What if the island really does exist? Huh? Yeah. The island. You have to believe. We both do. Without hope, there's nothing.
Wakey, wakey. Oh, hi. You look exhausted, James. No, no, I'm fine. Exhausted and happy. Sorry, I'm done following you. Show you two. Now, how was it? How was what? You know. Sorry, I don't understand what you mean. Was what? You know. Fucking her. What? <laughs> yeah. You fucked her, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. What, what the hell do you mean? You fucked my wife. And you enjoyed that, didn't you? I haven't done anything to her. I haven't done anything at all. I've been lying and sleeping. You forgot your locket in her room. No. No, I showed you the locket yesterday, remember? So who's this cute little girl in a photo with you? Don't, don't you remember? I showed you the locket yesterday. I talked about Cathy. She's cute, your daughter. Mm. I wouldn't mind having a go at her. But I have a wife. And that would make me unfaithful, wouldn't it? I don't care much for adultery, Seamus. Not at all. So you remember, I gave you the locket yesterday and we talked about Cathy. You must have taken it to Mila's room yourself. Do you know what the penalty was for adultery in the Ming Dynasty? Sorry? The Ming Dynasty, ancient China. They didn't take these things lightly. And no one beats the Chinese in torture. Some women could get their eyeballs removed. And then they would collect all the blood that came out of sockets. Take it easy, Conrad. This is just a misunderstanding. I don't know what they did with the blood, though. Some men. We dragged off the carts in the dust until they died. Some were cut in half. But sometimes it would burn couples alive. And some of them were buried alive. And my favorite are the ones who was fed alive to the tigers. Conrad, you were you were really drunk yesterday. We looked at the locket, you know, I talked about Kathy, you know, when she was six, when she was climbing up that steep cliff, when she was seven, when she thought the neighbor's donkey was a horse and wanted to ride it. A donkey? Yeah. And, you know, we looked at the locket and you must have taken it into Mila's room. I saw you go in there just as I was falling asleep here. Is that so? Yeah. Tigers are extinct anyway. <laughs> Aren't they? Do you have any form of military training? No. No, I used to be a mechanic. Then I want to show you some techniques. Why? You have a dangerous journey ahead. Walkers aren't the only enemy out there. People are desperate these days. They'll do anything to survive. And we don't want you to get killed now, do we? I can take care of myself. You are weak, Seamus, and you know it. I've survived this far, haven't I? Then show me. Show you what? 
that you can defend yourself. Come on, stand up. Uh. It's okay. I just want to show you some techniques. Come on. Come closer. Closer. What are you doing? Now take it. Why? Just take it. Now attack me. I can't do that. Are you afraid? No. Then attack me. Come on, Seamus. Try to stab me. It's okay, Seamus. I just want to show you some techniques. Okay, then. You see? You need this. From here, there are so many options. You could blind your enemy. But you would have to put real force to it. The eyeballs are so much more robust than you think. But if you have a knife, like I do, you could slit their throat. Stop this, Conrad. But this, you see, this is so much more fun. Come on. Stop this, Conrad. You see? Killing skills are needed these days. Enemies are everywhere, and you can't trust anyone, especially the one you think you could trust. They will turn their back on you when you at least expect it. You never know, you know. I can see your leg is getting better. I needed to prepare you for your journey. You understand that, right? Sure. Cheers. I lost everyone too, you know. Me, that's everything I've got left. I know. Friends, family, everyone's taken by the walkers. Without Mila, I wouldn't want to live. I know how you feel, Conrad. Forgot to ask you something. Kind of silly, really, since it's so essential. What? You think you can fix the Garakot and get it working again? I think so, yes. But could you fly it? Could you operate it? I haven't flown a helicopter before. I think it'll be much easier flying a gyrocopter. 
Did a lot of hang gliding a few years ago. I'll figure it out, don't worry. Good. Then when you come back here, you need to show me how it works in case something happened to you. Like what? <laughs> don't be selfish, Seamus. If for some reason you should die, I would... Mila would be helpless without it. I'll show you how to operate it once I get back here. But you will get back here, won't you? Of course. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> All that crap you said about the island? Like you said, it doesn't exist. That's right, it doesn't. But you believe it does, don't you? I don't know. I really just don't know. But this place exists, though. And here we're safe. You know, when I saw that picture of your daughter, I thought she kind of reminded me of Mila. Yeah. Now, you wouldn't leave Mila behind, now would you? No, of course not. Or you. Right. Anyway, you're Mila's only chance. She couldn't survive without your help. I won't let her down, Conrad. Good. You're a good man, Seamus. Now you get some sleep now. And tomorrow, we we'll prepare you for your journey. And the next day, off you go. Yeah. You sleep now. tomorrow when, when Connor is asleep. But you have to kill him. Do you know that? No. Yes, I can't. You have to no, choose. I won't. He's going to get drunk again. And then I'll knock him unconscious. When he wakes up, we're long gone. But you don't understand. He will hunt us down. No, he's too afraid of no, the walkers. No, he's not scared of anything. He's not afraid of you or me, but the walkers, they terrify him. You don't know him like I do. Hey, Conrad needs to be in control the whole time. That's his thing. When he's confronted with the walkers, he loses control. You know, he knows that. Um, how can you be so sure? That's why he wants me to go. He has combat training. He's a trained killer, but he doesn't want to risk his own life. He's a coward, Mila. No 
matter what we do, there are risks. This is our last chance. We have no more options. I know. I'm sorry. Lo siento. I just... I'm sorry. You've got nothing to apologize for. Okay? I'll do everything I can to protect you. We will get out of here. And we will find the island. Are you sure you've packed all the tools you need? Yeah, I'm ready. Can you show this can of gasoline, is it? There was some gasoline left in the Garacopter's tank. Anyway, this is all I can carry. But you sure it's enough? Pretty sure. So we're all set for tomorrow then? Yeah. Nice. Be all right. Did you see that? What? Did she open her eyes? No, I don't think so. I think I saw her blink her eyes for a second. No, Conrad, she's still in a coma. Maybe she's starting to wake up. She's in a coma, Conrad. What are you doing? I told you never to come into this room. Sorry. Mila? Are you there, Mila? Hello. Mila? Are you there? Hello. Mm. Sweet wifey. Mila? Hello. Leave it alone, Conrad. She's still in a coma. Come on, let's have a drink. No. No, you shouldn't drink. You need to be fit for tomorrow, Seamus. Well, I want to have one. No. You need to be fit for tomorrow. Come on. A little sip, then. Oh, come on. Thank you. Well, cheers. Cheers. You know, 
One day, all of this is going to end. When the walkers can't find any more people to feed on. Don't you think? I don't know. You think so? All species die when there's nothing more to feed on. Well, they're not exactly a species, are they? Then what are they? Well, they're... they're us. What do you mean? They're our neighbours, our friends, our loved ones. They are... our dead. Walking around, feeding on us. Oh, my friend, they are a species. And when the time come, it's our time. It's a rule, you mean? You want to rule? I'm sure I saw a blink for a second. God damn it. Mila. Wakey, wakey. Mila. And you just... <laughs> He's passed out. It's time to go, Mila. What? Is, is he dead? No. He's not dead. He'll be gone for quite some time. It's time to leave. I'm sorry. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. Try again. Seamus, Seamus, Seamus. Now look what you make me do to Mila. You let Mila go. Now put down the gun. Why do you make me do this to Mila? Hasn't she suffered enough? Put down the gun. Put it on the floor. <laughs> that was so funny. You're an amateur, Seamus. No, Conrad. 
Well, that Mila means a lot to you. Just don't hurt her. No, she means a lot to you. She means a lot to us both, then. I do want to see her live. You know what to do. All right, all right. All right, I'll get the gyrocopter and get the supplies. Good boy. Just don't hurt her. Stop. Now get one more can of gasoline. I think this one will be enough. Get one more can of gasoline. And just don't hurt her. <laughs> With this gear. Well, of course, my friend. I'll take one can, and you take the other. Now, off you go. Don't worry, my love. I'll soon get some privacy around here. I knew you were going to try that. Shame is shame is shame is you got to get a hold of yourself. Others won't be as forgiving as me. When you get back, we can put all this behind us. What is this? Fucking freak show. Hey, what are you doing? Mila, what are you doing? Mila, come back! Come back! Come on! <laughs> 